There's a, there's a quarterback that happens to play for the professional team that is in Detroit, and that's the Lions and Jared Goff. We've been talking about that's your, Oh, that's, your, that's this, our quarterback. Then this is a better question for you. We've been talking about the extension mm-hmm. of Jared Goff since he got here. We've been talking about what to pay him. Is he the quarterback? I feel like he's been proving himself year in and year out. He's finally gotten to a place where last year he consistently remained one of the top five quarterbacks statistically and also got you two playoff wins in there as the Lions got to the NFC Championship last year. Is it time to pay him? That's the deal. There's been talks. Extension talks are happening with the Detroit Lions, with agents. Jerry Goff's upcoming contract extension projects to be worth $49 million annually. I come to you first. Should the Lions extend him? Because he is under contract for $33 million this year. Should they extend him and how much if they do? For how long? I'd say that this has been the hot button question and yep. the debate for three years now. Um, I've been screaming that this guy's going to take a discount. And I see $49 million and I see that as a discount. Not a huge one. But it is a bit of a hometown di- discount. And my I've been saying this for two years now. The greatest indicator of failure in the NFL is change. Right. I would go on record and say, I think that this offense is going to be better this year. So why mess with that? And why give him an opportunity to put another great year under his belt where he should be getting $55 million? So, yes, sign him. That is our quarterback. That is Detroit's quarterback. Bring him back. Let's go win a Super Bowl, baby. Now, let me ask you the next question, and then I'll get into how much the top quarterbacks in the NFL are making. How many years is this extension for coming from you? Because let's, let's call it spade a spade. I don't care how you how good you are, unless you're Patrick Mahomes, you are up for annually review. Yeah. Annually review. So how much is this deal? I mean, how long is this deal for you? I think it should be an extra three years with the with the team option for a fourth. I don't know if he's going to take that, though. Okay. I would I'm imagine sure that he's going to want four years. Um, but I'd be happy with three. I think that takes him, how old is he now, 31? Yep. Yeah, 147. so this is 32, three, four, and five. I'll take him through 35. 147 of that guarantee, about 105. It's the going rate, 110, 105. All right. So you got him 49 mil. Last year, he won you two playoff games. He's gotten progressively better, and he's still young. That's the thing that a lot of people don't know about Jared Goff or they forget. Jared Goff's only 28. I want to say he's 29 now. He's only a year older than Joe Burrow. Exactly. I think he's 20, 28, 27, 28. Yeah, yeah. So here you go. Obviously, Patrick Mahomes took a deal deal. $45 million is what he makes annually. You know that for a fact. Joe Burrow makes $55 million. Justin Herbert, 52, signed a big deal last year, signed the extension. Lamar Jackson signed before the season. He makes fifty-two million a year. I got a question for Josh you. Josh Allen is at forty-three extension. So, as somebody that you know signed big contracts and and shifted teams, if you're if you're making the run for a Super Bowl, if you've just doubled your franchise's career Super Bowl era playoff wins, and you look at the guy that just won a championship and he takes a pay reduction to mm-hmm. forty-five million. I'm sorry, but I am not. I'll ask for 44 9, but right. I'm not getting paid more than Pat Mahomes, period. Okay, so before I read what everybody else makes, my counter to that, or not even counter, but my flip side to that, devil's advocate to that is this Patrick Mahomes makes how much annually in sponsorship sure. deals? Yep. Same reason why Brady later on was able to take the. Brady wasn't taking pay cuts in the beginning, and that's what people don't talk about. Brady started taking pay cuts like 12, yeah. 13, mm-hmm. 14, mm-hmm. where you're making, and Patrick's making more. He's making $100 million, $75 million. Well, You can afford to take that 4 to $5 million. He's the best quarterback. He's the best player in the NFL. He could be making sure. $60 million, by far. to be honest. But if you're making that much, much like Travis Kelsey, he's the best tight end in the league. He's only making 14.3. He could have definitely been a $20 million tight end. Yeah. But how much is he making? How many subway commercials you seen? How That's many right. times he hosts Saturday Night Live? Who is he dating? So I think that kind of will factor into that decision. Outside of that, I agree with you. Well, everybody's going to be on a commercial if they get that ring, you know? And we saw Brady start at the trend in taking the discount to keep the team together. He had three keep rings at that point, though. That's right. Now, <laughs> yeah, that, Man, had three rings at that point. But with KC now, they're in the si- similar situation where everyone wants them. Everyone wants them wearing their stuff. Yeah. 
pushing their brand. They've got the three rings to, to push it, but this, this is something that I think you're going to start seeing in the NFL from the premier teams where they're willing, their premier players are willing to take a pay cut to win more rings. Okay. And, and I want to see that from Jared Goff. I think 49 is a discount, but I'm sorry. When, when you, you can't make more than Pat Mahomes. I, well, I have an issue with that. And I, and I want to see him paid, but take those $5 million off and let's go get somebody else, Jared Goff. Well, there's seven quarterbacks that made more than Patrick Mahomes, so you might as well throw that away. Let me ask you this. <laughs> Let me ask you, would you, are these quarterbacks better in your opinion than Jared Goff is right now? Because they make some cheese. Jalen Hurts, $51 million a year. Yep. All right, Jared Goff's better? No. He's not better than Jalen. Now, also, let's think about it. Jalen Hurts. When everything was right, when he had the right offensive coordinator, the right defensive coordinator, when he had the talent, they went far. They went to the Super yeah. Bowl. But the next year, when everybody left, Jalen Hurts all of a sudden didn't look like a $51 million a year quarterback. Yeah, his wide receivers were hurt. Um, I, I don't know. I, I At this point in their careers, Pete's over here wilding in the TD booth. I don't know. <laughs> it's 3 3 now. Uh, the Tigers just what... tied it up 3 3. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, right. oh that's why I was like, yeah. Well, say that. I thought Riley you were Green. Sorry. Well, I was dancing to Riley Green, game tying home run. Uh, that's fantastic. There we go. Riley Green. Bing. Smash. Home right. run. Riley Green. Right Tigers field. are now tied. There we go. With the Mets. 3 3. 3 baby. to 3. Trying to not bring right. any losses. Sorry, didn't mean to, 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 didn't mean to interrupt. That's okay. Oh, no. Oh, you're good. You're good. It's, it's, oh, that one's worth it. He has some sauce on that. Russell Wilson makes forty eight point five million dollars a year. No, he's not better. Jared Goff's better. Yeah, All right, so Jared, so now he's at forty nine. Yeah. Well, but wait a second. What was Mahomes at before he took this pay cut a few weeks ago? Rookie deal. No, no, he's not. This is his seventh year in the league, right? His rookie deal, and then he did the deal. The deal with well, the extension initially, it was a pay cut deal. He hasn't changed since then. Well, I, I will have to check that on the on the. Uh, but I, I thought that he was over fifty. I thought that he took the pay cut. Uh, but conti continue on with the list. We know Lamar Jackson's better. Yep, fifty one. Deshaun yep. Watson. No, forty six mil. No, no, he's a distraction. Even if his play on the field is better, he's been a massive distraction to that franchise. Yeah. So we're looking at these, and we talked about Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert's at fifty. I two still, and a half. I prefer golf to Herbert. You prefer golf to Herbert. I do. I do. Let I, me ask you this question very simply. Put Jerry, I mean, put Justin Herbert in this system with this with this offensive coordinator. Now now answer that question. <laughs> That's I, unfair, Braylon. It is. It's unfair because we can't see it, but I, I don't like I don't like the presence yeah. that you get from Herbert. I don't like the presence you get from T Law. It's kind of like what you used to get from Jerry Goff. Well, and, and that's, that was the thing that was surprising to me is seeing how he personally, his presence changed once he got here because he was a beaten man leaving L.A. Yeah, he was. And he came here, and now he's a celebrated man, and he's taken that, that push from the Detroit fans, and he's turned it into real confidence. And it's transitioned to the field where he's, he's been super, super successful. I, I don't know. I'd love to have, see a guy that can really push the ball downfield, but give me first downs. Give me third down conversions and give me touchdowns.